obviously you can be friends with whoever you want to be friends with, but I can tell you a bit about my group if you like, because I know like the teachers asked me to welcome you to the school, but I don't want you to think that means that me and you can be friends, because I would love to be friends with you. Yeah, of course. So, I don't have that many friends who are girls. I'm friends mostly with boys, um, so the boys over at Truham School. Yeah, so like I mentioned, Harry is in my friendship group. Um, it's a lot of the rugby boys because I just kind of vibe with them more. Like, I get their banter. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm quite good at banter and just being with the boys. So, if you like that vibe, you'd probably like hanging out with them. Um, but yeah, there's Harry. Uh, there's also Ben, who I'm quite good friends with. Um, I'm probably closest to Nick. Nicholas, yeah. Yeah, so me and him have been friends for quite a while. Um, that was, at one point in time, the potential for us to be more than friends. Um, but it just didn't really work out. I kind of decided that I didn't want to be with him. You know, it was... It was my decision. I just thought, you know, me and him, not meant to be. And we've been a lot better just staying friends. Yeah. I think you'd probably really like Nick. You just give me the vibe that you'd get on with him. I mean, everyone gets on with him, really. He's very much golden retriever energy. Like, you can not get on with him. Does that make sense? Yeah, he's really cute. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Okay. Yeah, I'm a dog person. So is Nicholas. He's got a really cute dog called Nelly. Absolutely adorable. I met her and she's just absolutely gorgeous. So cute. Yeah, I did actually used to have a dog, but um, they passed away, which was really sad, but Nick brought his dog Nelly along to see me to cheer me up, which is so sweet. Yeah, you see what I mean? He's like a really sweet guy. Something else quite interesting about Nick is people are seeming to think that he might have a thing going on with Charlie. Yeah, another one of the boys at Truham. Well, there's been some rumours swirling for a while. They've just gotten very, very close. Um, and we had like a joint sports day. So Higgs, our school, and Drew and the boys' school, we like joined together for the sports day. And there was this big rugby match. And literally just in the middle of the match, like Nick just dropped the ball and like walked off the pitch, grabbed Charlie's hand, and then they walked off together. Yeah. I thought it was really cute. I mean, I'm just speculating and, you know, I don't mean to be starting rumours or anything or gossiping or anything like that because it's none of my business and it's up to them what they do and what they're ready to tell people. But, yeah, all I'm saying is it looked very cute and they're giving me the vibe that they're more than friends. Which, obviously, I'm not jealous of because, you know, me and Nicholas, we are total just friend vibes. I definitely friend zoned him. Like, I I friend zoned him, so it's totally fine to me if he's moving on with someone else, you know. I just want him to be happy. He deserves to be happy. And I don't really know Charlie, but he seems like a cool guy. I think he's friends with, like, Tara, Darcy, and Elle. Yeah. So, their friendship group is definitely a different vibe to my friendship group, but I mean, I have no problem with any of them. I would get on with any of them, and I'm sure you would too. Yeah, so they have a couple other members in their group, I think. Like Tao, who doesn't seem to really like the boys in my group very much. They're just very different. Yeah, I heard once he actually threw a rugby ball at Nick's head, which doesn't seem very nice, and also makes it really good if there is something going on between Charlie and Nick because that's Charlie's best friend like you would hope that he would like 
just fix your mascara because I think it's just gone a bit wrong there. Is that okay? Thanks. someone you're not or you're just doing something for the sake of 